Number two. Hey, Bill. Uh, maybe you can help me out with this um, thing. Now, I haven't read any of these things, people, so uh, bear with me here. Uh, this sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. I met this girl a couple of weeks ago, and I've been talking to her and hanging out with her nonstop. We is pretty. What? I guess it's she is pretty. She's pretty, funny, intelligent, and one of the most upfront and, upfront and honest people I've ever met in my life. In fact, maybe a little too honest because she tells me every day how great, cute, honest, and honest I am, and it's a little much sometimes. Anyways, we've been hitting it off like crazy, and on Saturday she spent the night, and we hung out all day Sunday. About nine, Around 9 p.m., we got on the topic of old jobs. Oh, fuck. Is she a dancer? And she told me that a few years ago she worked in a pet store. Okay, I guess wrong. There was a hamster there that would bite her every day, drawing blood, and would attack coworkers and customers. Generally, the hamster was a crazy douche. One day, her, her and a coworker decided they had to do something about this thing to put the hamster in a bag and smashed it against a wall. Whoa. What? Jesus Christ. What a fucking left turn that was. They put it in a bag and smashed it against the wall. Needless to say, I was shocked. The first thing I said was, holy shit, lady, that's kind of crazy. That makes... Wait, that's the kind of crazy that makes a wife cut her husband's dick off. I'm sorry, dude. That was a hilarious line, and I blew it. The first thing I said was, holy shit, lady, that's the kind of crazy that makes a wife cut her husband's dick off. She said she still feels horrible about it and that she killed it that way because she couldn't think of any other way to make it quick. But, jeez. I mean, I've never been in that situation, but that seems kind of crazy, LOL. This seems like something straight out of a Seinfeld episode, but I just keep thinking about it every time me and this chicks are, are getting together. Should I just accept this is a crazy story, or is this a sign that she has serious issues? Remember, this happened years ago, and she seems absolutely sane otherwise. Please help. Potential murder victim? Question mark. Dude, some of you guys are really fucking funny, man. The way you guys write this shit. I, 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 but you got to admit, I have improved with my reading. I feel so bad that I butchered that goddamn line. Um, okay. Jesus Christ, what do you do with this one? This is fucked up on like so many different levels. Okay, let's start with the first thing, the cruelty to animals. Okay, not only cruelty to animals, like I could, what she did, I could do that to an ant. I wouldn't even do it to a spider. I could do it to a fucking mosquito. That's, she basically treated a hamster like a fucking mosquito. Now, granted, a hamster... Okay, let, let's try to be a little empathetic here. Empathetic. Let me try to put myself in her situation. If I was younger, 20 years younger, and a hamster bit me every day at work, and I'm at working at a fucking pet store, uh, would I smash it against the wall in a bag? No, I wouldn't. However, I would do something to it. <laughs> I would do something. You know what I would do? I would take a ruler. And the, I would wait. I would wait till it was uh, falling asleep. And I would just whoosh, right on its fucking hamster ass. And it woke up. And whatever the fuck it did, I would just take the ruler and I would pin it against the fucking cage. And just watch it get all upset. I just, I would bully it. That's what basically what I would do. Huh? You like that? You like that, you little fucking hamster? Huh? I wouldn't hurt it. I'd just keep it pinned there. I would frustrate it. I would frustrate the living shit out of it. That's what I would do. I would do something like that. I, that, I think I would do that. But I would not smash it against the fucking wall. They put it in a bag. Now, did, was it repeated strikes? Jesus Christ. You know, some of the shit kids used to do in my neighborhood. Do you know I had a friend of mine? He used to take his house cat and he put it in an empty pillowcase. 
and he would fucking spin it over his head like someone like he was at a Steelers game. <laughs> You know, that's what the fuck he would do. And then sometimes he'd put it in the dryer. They used to tell me these stories and I used to laugh my fucking ass off. For some reason, I found it funny back then. Now I find it absolutely horrific and uh, I would never do it. But if I had to do it to either a dog or a cat, I would definitely do it to a cat. But it'd have to be a real douche of a cat. All right. So we're getting off the subject here. So it's cruelty to animals and she works at a pet store. So that's bizarre. Because you figure if you work at a pet store, that means you either you love animals or you you like at a low level deal pot. You 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 deal in weed on a low level. You know what I mean? You're that guy. You're like the burnout Matthew McConaughey. At least that's how they used to be. But then there's the other option that serial killers. You know, they start off with small animals, you know, they watch a ton of porn, then they start torturing small animals, and then they gradually work their way up, uh, you know, to a fucking human being. So, yeah, you could possibly, you could possibly be dealing with that right now. Then also, you know, you're looking at it like this is, that's the mother of your children. Put a hamster in a fucking, I could see if it was fucking 1911. Rather than 2011. People back then, they'd kill an animal. They didn't give a fuck. they just walk out. What do you guys want for dinner? Eh, yeah, let's have some goose. And the fucking mom would walk out. They'd grab the goose by the neck. And then they'd fucking act like they were trying to start up a Model T. And they'd Rawr! fucking body smooth. And they'd just break its neck nice and quick. Um, and then they'd pluck it. And they'd cook it. And that was it. And that was that was dinner. 1911. Did you like that little piece of piece of history? Uh, I don't, dude. I don't know what to tell you. This is like, um, that's really fucking insane. And at the very least, um, if you get into a fight with her, I, she's at the very least. I think she's gonna throw something at you. She may be one of those. I have no idea, dude. How hot is this girl? I think some of these people, I need like a picture to see if it's like worth it. You guys seem to be connecting on like a personality level, but I I really got to tell you, you know, that's just like something Roger Clemens would do. I could picture him doing that, you know? He has that posy from the fucking Dirty Dozen sort of vibe about him. 